Okay. Uh, gravitational energy per unit mass V both, huh, is given by the equation V equal to negative GM over R where G M R represent gravitational constant. G is the gravitational constant. M is the mass of planet. And R is the radius of planet respectively. What's the dimensions of G? Okay. So we have this formula. Let's write out this formula. V equal to negative G M over R. First, uh, we want to... Uh, the question asks us to find the dimension of G. Okay. We need to get the dimension of this G. But to get the dimension of G, we need to identify what is V, what is M, what is R. Uh, okay. Uh, G is the gravitational constant. What about V? V, okay, if you look carefully, V is the gravitational energy per unit mass. Uh, in fact, uh, in later chapters, you might learn uh, V is actually called the gravitational, gravitational potential. Uh, v is the gravitational potential. Maybe I, I can elaborate a little bit. Okay. Uh, v is actually V is actually uh, gravitational potential energy per unit mass. Uh, that's why he says that uh, okay, this is uh, uh, this is the gravitational potential energy. Uh, gravitational potential energy. So that's why he say that V is the energy per unit mass uh, because it is v is actually the gravitational potential energy per unit mass uh, okay so uh now uh let's uh okay one thing we can put here is the dimension of v is actually dimension of the dimension of the left hand side will be equal to the dimension of the right hand side okay this is the thing we know so uh, we can further elaborate. Uh, in fact, dimension of V equal to um, you know the negative actually is one. The dimension of negative is actually one, and it has no dimension. Uh, dimension G, dimension mass over the dimension of R. So now uh, we need to find dimension of V first. Okay, dimension of V. It is actually energy per unit mass. So, uh, alright. So, let's find out the dimension of... Dimension of V is actually uh, dimension of uh, U over dimension of mass. Okay, U is the energy. Yeah? Energy per... Uh, and then per unit mass. The gravitational potential. So how to do, what is the dimension of U? Energy. Uh, so what do you think of energy? Okay, gravitational potential energy. Um, energy, what do you think about energy? Energy, okay. Uh, first of all, let's, um, maybe we can uh, think of energy is something like, um, you learn before U equal to uh, mgh, isn't it? Ah, U equal to mgh. Ah, so from there we can get the dimension of U. Huh? Dimension of U. Dimension of U will be equal to dimension of mgh. So, um, okay, let's check the unit first. Yeah, if you forget about uh, the dimension. So, the mass, okay, um, Maybe we should write like this. Unit of the potential energy is equal to. So mass is actually kilogram. Yeah. And then G is acceleration due to gravity. So acceleration is meter per second square. And then H is meter. Meter. Ah, so the unit of the gravitational potential energy is kg meter square. Per second square. 
So from here, we can get the dimension, translate the dimension. Kg is mass, meter is length, where? And then uh, second is time. Uh, okay. Uh, so from here, uh, we can continue from here. So the dimension of the potential is equal to the okay, dimension of U is just write this thing. Okay. Uh, M L two T negative two over and then dimension of mass is m uh, dimension of mass is m lah, m okay so we cut the m okay so left us with l2 t negative 2 ah that's the dimension of b okay now let's continue uh, let's find out this one okay maybe guys can drag this down yeah, I can drag this down over here, easier to access. So we already got the dimension of um, B is L2 T negative 2. So just put it here, L2 T negative 2. And then uh, dimension of G is what we want to find. Ah, what is the dimension of uh, M? Mass, mass, dimension of mass is M itself. Ah, okay. Remember the bracket. Uh, the bracket is very important. It shows that uh, the dimension of something. Yeah, the, the, bra the bracket means the dimension of something. And then once you put a dimension, you just put a normal bracket. Yeah, put a normal bracket. Okay. And then R. What is R? R is a radius. Radius is about length, isn't it? Length. So length. Okay. Uh, radius is also length. Length is meter. Okay, length is meter. So dimension of length is L. Uh, dimension of n length is L. Okay. So now from here we can get the dimension of G already. Uh, dimension of G. So just cross multiply. Okay. This one uh, multiply to the top and then this go bottoms. And what do we have? What do we have? We will get M negative 1 and then L cube and T negative 2. Do we have this answer? M negative 1, L3 cube, T negative 2. Yeah, what's the answer? Yes, the answer will be uh, this one. Okay, the last answer. Okay. Uh, m negative 1, L cube, T negative 2. Uh, that's the dimension of G. Okay. Alright. See you in the next video.